today's class. In today's video, I'll be showing us how to carry this proof in polynomials. Look at this question. The question says, show that the remainder when f of x is divided by x minus a, x minus b is all of this, where f of x is a polynomial in x. Now, how do we prove this? We use our knowledge in polynomials. To do so, we first of all use the division algorithm to express f of x as x minus a, that is the divisor, times the quotient plus the remainder. This is the division algorithm for f of x. Now, looking at this uh, division algorithm, or this function I've written here, you see that f of x is divided by a quadratic function. Since it is divided by a quadratic function, we know from the remainder theorem that the remainder is going to be a linear function. Therefore, we express our f of x as x minus a, x minus b, q of x, plus the remainder, which is a linear function, we can choose nx plus m, where n and m are real numbers. And we, our interest is to find this m and n. Since this will give us our remainder, we are able to find n and m. We substitute it here, and then it will give us this desired remainder that we want. Now, how do we find it? We still use the remainder term, which says that if f of x is divided by x minus a, then the remainder will be f of a, which is equal to, if you substitute f of a here, all of this will vanish in our with only n a plus n. Call this one equation 1. And then, when f of x is divided by x minus b, we are going to have f of b equal to n b plus m equation 2. This is our two remainders. From these two equations, we solve them simultaneously for the values of m and m. So, for this is how we do it. Equation 1 minus equation 2, we are going to have f of a minus f of b to be equal to what? n, n. So, we are going to have n into a minus b. This minus this, it vanishes. We we'll make n the subject, and so we have n is equal to f of a minus f of b. All that on a minus b. You see that we have already found our n. We now substitute our n in any of the equations to obtain m. Put it in equation 1, we are going to have f of a equal to n is f of a minus f of b, all that on a minus b times a plus m. You see that from here we can make m the subject. Making m the subject, we start by multiplying both sides by a minus b. So we are going to have a, f of a minus b, f of a equal to f a, this time this a, f of a minus a, f of b plus m into a minus b. By multiplying everything by a minus b, we have this equation. From here, we are now going to see that this and this are the same, so they can cancel out. We bring this one to this side. We're going to have a into f of b minus b into f of a equal to m times a minus b. So making m the subject, we divide both sides by a minus b, which will simply just give us the m that we want. Therefore, we can now substitute. We know that our remainder is equal to what? nx plus m. Doing the substitution, we are going to have it as, let me use this space. The remainder is equal to nx plus m, which is equal to our n is f of a minus f of b, all that on a minus b times this x here, x, then plus the m, m, this is m now, we found m here, a into f of b minus b into f of a, all that on a minus b, which is the desired proof, as you can see. But you can also choose to take the LCM here and then express it in a 
uh, a nicer way if you like so taking the lcm we can have this as uh, uh, a x into f of a minus x into f of b plus a into f of b minus b into f of a all that on a minus b which is equal to yeah we have f of a f of a so we factorize our f of b we're gonna have x minus b into f of a and here we have f of b f of b factorizing our f of b we're going to have uh, minus x minus a f of b all that on x minus under an a minus b sorry a minus b so you can equally express it this way if you if you wish but this is the proof of or the solution of the question as expected thank you